So maybe you want to make a view that has just that perfect angle. How do you get those custom perfect views? Let's go through the technique in this video. So this is one of our parts from the office chair that we've been working on. Let's say that I would like to make a drawing of it. I'll choose the default template. From here, if I turn my view, let's say that I want to have this diagonal line vertical. Well, I can rotate this, but unfortunately, it's not going vertical. I can try to change the orientation other ways, but it, just by the way that this has been modeled, it appears that this is not wanting to go vertical. And no matter what you model, there's probably going to be a time that you run into not having quite the right view. So let's go through ways in which we can get that right view. I'll first accept this part the way that it is. Just like my wife, she accepts me just the way that I am. And I'll grab sheets and views up here and we'll go with auxiliary. And then I'll grab this line here and you'll notice I have an aligned view that is looking normal to that face. So that's one way to be able to get views normal to faces is we can just go to auxiliary view, grab what face that we want to view normally, and click very simple. But perhaps we're looking for a different solution. So let's go ahead and go through that. I'll close the drawing, and from here, we'll go to view, and I have this option in view of orient to plane. If I click it, it asks me to reference planar geometry, right? This is what we want to view normal to. So I'll select the face that I want to look normal to. And then we have bottom reference geometry. It's asking us what the bottom of the part is or how to orient it. So I'll choose this face here that I'll have on the bottom. And I'll say OK. Now I'm looking straight normal onto that plane. Well, I have this option here to manage view orientations. And I can say I want to add my current view into a known orientation. I'll name this view normal to face. And now I have this option uh, that I can go normal to face whenever I'd like. So I can choose this, normal to face, set, and Alibre remembers the view that I've created. I'll save this part. And now I can say send to drawing. And once again, using my default template, I now can say workspace orientation and select my view normal to face. And now all of my views are based off of looking at that face normally. So if I say OK to that, then I can see exactly how I'm oriented. So that's how we work on these kinds of views. And we still have a lot to come. We'll see you in the next video.